What is going on guys? Nameless here bringing you guys a brand new video and there has been an insane bomb dropped on the timeline. But before we get into that, let me give you guys a few little updates as to what's been going on with me. So we've been pretty consistent basically every other day or every two days we've been uploading a video basically covering things that have been, that have been going on in the Call of Duty scene and I appreciate the love and support that I've been getting. We have some more roster videos coming out soon and some more videos coming out just basically around the new game. I might be starting a new series soon, but either way, the content is con going to be continuing to come at you guys at a fast pace. So I'd appreciate if you guys continue to share, like, and turn on those notifications. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am a Call of Duty analyst for the COD League. Some of you guys may just follow my Twitch or my YouTube and watch me game and talk about COD, but also I do it at a pro level where I'm on broadcast and I'm talking over the games. And I've been doing that for about three years now since I retired from pro gameplay. And I was finally nominated for Esports Analyst of the year well i say finally but this is the first year that they've actually had the analyst award uh, and i've been nominated amongst some other great people in esports so if you guys feel the kindness in your heart and you support me go vote there will be a link in the description below where you can click it and go vote for your favorite commentators and honor talent across esports me being one of them your vote matters guys so cast a vote if you appreciate me and my work. And also make sure you go vote in the election as well. That's obviously coming up. Um, but yeah, a lot of voting that we got to do, guys. So go check out these links. Show me some support if you support me. Okay, guys. So Hector Rodriguez, my guy, man. You know, we just did a podcast with him. It was fantastic. The podcast. Make sure you go check that out as well. We talked about a lot of Call of Duty stuff. So it has been said on Twitter and confirmed by some articles that Hector Rodriguez, Hex, has purchased Optic Gaming back, but nobody knows what he's going to do with it because you cannot own two franchises. So there's the question as to what's going on. Hector hasn't said anything yet, so I'm hoping by the time I release this video, he still hasn't said anything, but I have all the news and clips and stuff for you guys. And uh, actually a couple of these clips I'm gonna be reacting to for the first time with you guys uh, and giving you guys sort of my live reaction and take on this whole thing. But this is insane for a few reasons and we'll get into that in a bit, but for now, let's catch you guys up to speed. So yesterday morning, uh, the Esports Observer tweeted, Hex has reacquired Optic Gaming in a deal separate from his association from NRG, according to sources. We'll look to divest the Los Angeles CDL spot pending league approval on both acquisition and sale. So one, shout out to Esports Observer. That is huge news uh, for them to just drop in the timeline. And then they link the full article in uh, an Instagram post is what I have. And basically uh, the post goes, Hector Hex Rodriguez, current co-owner and CEO of NRG Esports, has reacquired Optic Gaming in a deal separate from any ties associated with NRG. Sources close to the deal have come forward stating that after negoci negotiations spanning a little over a month, Rodriguez purchased the Optic Gaming IP in its entirety and practiced the Call of Duty League slot associated with the Los Angeles franchise. The acquisition of the Los Angeles CDL slot by Rodriguez, who according to sources intends to divest to interested esports organizations, still needs legal approval. So while it appears that Rodriguez in the property, the CDL must approve that Rodriguez would divest the slot through a sale as he has ownership stake in the Chicago. Originally established in 06 as a call of duty, we're talking about how Optic Gaming started, etc. And uh, this is huge. This is just massive. If you guys uh, don't know the history about it, uh, obviously you probably know Optic Gaming. They started, they were huge. They had Nate, Big Time, Romeric, Rambo, bunch of different players, won a ton of championships, bunch of different kinds of creators, snipers, etc. cetera. The, you know, the house in, in Chicago. Um, and they blew up, you know, they took the, the world by storm. They were one of the first massive esports teams that created content uh, and that built a huge fan base. And they paved the way for a lot of the teams today. And Hector was at the forefront of that. He was the leader of that team. I mean, he was the CEO. He was the content creator. He was the manager. He was everything, man. He wore a lot of hats and that was his baby, right? Like that was his brand. That was his startup that he built from the ground up and, and it inspired a lot of people. And basically he sold it to a company called Infinite um, for a lot of money. Uh, and they didn't really handle it well. Uh, I know he still had sort of a hand in it, but he didn't have that control and they ran it like a big business would run it. And that's just not how you can run optic gaming. Obviously that proves it. And, you know, unfortunately for them, you know, they purchased it. They thought they knew what they needed to do, but they didn't. And it didn't work out because they purchased it along with a lot of people who were a part of optic, but they were under hex, right? And without hex there to be the guy making the decisions without somebody that they can really trust 
it went wrong. I mean, you had the content creators who disliked them, pro players didn't really like them. Um, and it was just a shit show when Infinite bought them. Um, so that didn't work out. And then they end up getting bought again uh, by IGC and in the franchise. And granted, IGC did the best that they could, but it's still not Hector. It's not Optic Gaming. The soul wasn't there, right? It was just a lifeless body that uh, it didn't really work without him, man. So I, I, I respect him getting it back. And I got to think he has some plans to, you know, sell that spot and maybe bring Optic Gaming back in a content creation aspect. And, you know, there's a lot of money to be made there as well. You know, Hector's a businessman. And with Optic Gaming, he can build that brand back up. There's a lot of hype around it. There's a lot of love people still have for the brand. There's still a lot of fans that are that are itching to be Optic fans. You got to think these guys out here have been fans since they were kids. They've been following Optic Gaming since they were 10, 11, 12 years old, guys. So there's a lot of people that want to be fans of Optic. You just have to pull that out of them. Um, and it, it's very difficult when Hector isn't there or any of the original guys are there uh, doing that brand. You know, it's service, right? It needs the content. It needs the right content. It needs the people like Hitch, the people like... Uh, there's just so many different people. You saw Hex rehired Roger, like people like that to make the content that those fans like they're fans of the people not just the brand and and that's a that's a big thing with optic so him getting it back uh i think it's him getting his kid back and i think he's not gonna sell it again he's not gonna want to get rid of it and i don't think he bought it just to sort of end it i think he bought it to do something with it um and there's a few rumors as to what he's gonna do with it so let's talk about those so a lot of people think he bought it back uh to sell the cdl spot to nate shot and then to keep it for content creation which uh is one thing but nade uh on stream he basically says uh that they're not financially ready to get a cdl spot and he doesn't know if it's if it's true that hector even bought optic gaming so hector probably keep that close to his chest so i don't know so if you guys are asking me i, I don't really have an idea la thieves has a nice ring to it but Guys, we're not really in a position to get back into Call of Duty. It's really, really expensive. So we'll see. Uh, maybe down the down the road in the future, I don't know. But I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. So Nate Shot doesn't know if it's true. So I guess it's not fully confirmed because Hex hasn't said anything yet. Um, and Nate Shot says that they're not financially ready to get a CDL spot. But then you go to his Instagram and he's posted pictures of back to back with Call of Duty trophies further turning this fire. And it just seems like a lot of bait, right? Um, so I personally do not think that it's going to be a hundred thieves call of duty team I don't think that he's going to sell that to nature. I don't think nature and hundred thieves uh, Want to do that. They've stated it multiple times So I personally do not think that that will happen, but it is still a possibility. All right So this is the first time I'm seeing this video. This is crim's thoughts on uh, hex acquiring optic uh, Let's check it out. What do you think about Hector requiring OG? D dope. I don't really care I'm busy right now. Talk to me later <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i said there was a few clips that i was going to be reacting to live in this video i don't know what that has to do with everything i just think it's kind of funny okay so another big rumor is that dr disrespect will be uh owning a call of duty team if you guys saw back back uh, a couple weeks ago he talked about how it might be a san diego team and he was talking to somebody on stream and he basically said that he might be getting a team soon which would be super interesting dr disrespect loves competitive call of duty i've had great talks with him about it um, and he actually designed maps back in AW. He designed the solar map. So he has experience with competitive and he, he would be a fantastic team owner and the content of that team would be next level. And could you imagine Hector, the expert on content creation and pro call of duty play combined with the expert on content creation of everything, making a call of duty team, how it could ascend call of duty and make our league that much better. I couldn't even guys that under the optic gaming brand like that would that is the most excited i think i would ever be for a team um one i'll tell you a few reasons why i get excited for san diego is my favorite city in the united states i love it that's where i was just on vacation dr disrespect is one of my favorite streamers and hex is my guy so that is a fantastic trio of um of exciting things san diego dr respect hex is in call of duty i mean that is just insane to me and that would be wild we saw hex uh, here's the picture on your screen right now. He donated $100 to Dr. Disrespect's stream uh, today, just furthering, pushing that bait. Um, and it's a definite possibility, man. There's been rumors for a while now. Obviously, to get a deal like this done, it takes a couple of weeks um, or a couple of months, rather. And that was when Dr. Disrespect talked about owning a team, releasing these little tidbits of information. Um, and obviously, this means nothing, but 
you know, Dr. Spec being on YouTube and CDO is entirely on YouTube is interesting as well. But anyways, uh, guys, that's all I have for you. Uh, this is insane news. I'm getting Optic Gaming back. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the community and for Optic Gaming fans. Uh, what this means for the CDL team, I'm not too sure yet, but I think they'll be fine wherever they end up. Uh, but other than that, that's it. That's all I have for you guys, man. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you uh, turn notifications on. And make sure you comment what you want to see in the next video. If you did enjoy this, I appreciate you. And make sure to go vote in the election. And for me, for Analyst of the Year. I'll talk to you guys later.